Good morning and welcome to this very special Facebook Live. It's 8am, it's time for the Lose It With Journey workout. My name is Journey Bunting. Today's workout is different. We normally do stretch Saturday, but today because it's so icy outside, look at it. <laughs> Freezing. Minus three right now here in Hatton, Derbyshire. So we're doing virtual park run. So for the next while, I reckon it's going to take us an hour guys. We're going to do five kilometers, also known as 3.2 miles, also known as about 8,000 steps. So all you need is to stand up, or you can stay seated, and I just want you to lift your knees and march. That would be helpful to have some water with you. I've got two litres right now. For those of you who don't know, morning hour. For those of you who don't know, we did this yesterday morning. We did it for an hour and a half. We did the full 10k steps. So to be honest, some of us, like Aaron, Sam, Tina, were pros at this. Virtual walking at home. So we're not going to do anything complicated. All I want you to do is march on the spot. And have a good chit chat with me. What is Sam saying this morning? Morning. I'm off out in the mo. Won't be joining you, but have a good day. Thank you so much, Sam. Where are you going? What are you doing? I hope you're not ice skating. I don't know what else you could be doing apart from ice skating this morning. Morning, Aaron. When are you flying? So yeah, let's have a good chit chat. We'll keep each other going. Sam admits her back, her lower back was playing up yesterday after our little walk. So again, really important to make sure you stretch. Only do as much as you feel. Right, the secret for me not going to the toilet, by the way, and I drank two full two litres, is I've got some warm water in this one. My first one is not cold water, guys. That's the secret to keeping inside your body. Make sure it's not too cold. Oh Sam, I love your style. Pedicure and nail appointment. Pamper day. A great alternative to part run and doing my steps. Now Sam will notice, and some of you, we've got faster music today. Because I am determined to get me and you doing our 10,000 steps in under an hour. That is the goal, guys. But for now, just stay with this beat. We don't want to be exercising for more than an hour a day, do we? So again, you can feel that beat speeding up. Now, we've got some good comparisons going on. We've got Gormans doing it, we've got Apple Watches doing it, and we've got my Fitbit doing it. So make sure you move your arms so your stepper counts. Aaron's left a comment. Flying from Gatwick at oh, 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Hey, old Aaron, you pack in a bit early. You packed yesterday. You drank beer yesterday to celebrate your holiday. Day. The um, so you need to watch your game. Oh yeah, be careful tomorrow morning. If at all possible, Aaron, I would suggest going there today and booking yourself a little hotel. Start the holiday early. Oh yes you are, I'm just reading your comment now. So you're going to your Premier Inn, great, good plan. Right, I'm feeling thirsty. For those of you who have problems getting water in, morning time is the best time to drink. Your body will absorb it. And if you exercise, even easier. If 
got a step counter? What count are you currently on? Do I know Caro Road? No. Is that in Gatwick? I have stayed near there before. Let's check my Fitbit, guys. So I'm currently on... Oh, wow. I didn't expect that. 744 already. And I've only just done the intro. <laughs> we are flying. Morning, Susie. Are you joining us this morning? Hot runs cancelled. So we're doing it virtually. We're going to be doing 5K. Just like this. Marching on the spot. If you don't know, Susie is our Pilate Guru. Some of them were having issues with aching lower backs. So Susie, you would be proud of this advice. Shoulders back, straight in your back. Abdominals slightly pulled in, but not enough so you can't breathe. Head in line with the spine. And go. <laughs> Is that okay, Susie? Anything to add? Susie would also say, if your back is playing up during a walk or a run, stop. Take a break. So as always, guys, on a serious note, don't push your body too much. I want you to achieve, but I don't want you to destroy your body or so. Say great alignment. Are you sure? Can you get your pole out, your broom out, and check my spine, please, Susie? <laughs> okay. Come on, guys. So we need to listen to that beat, feel the music. Let's go. Final advice, the lattes help. Contact Susan Boo, your specialist at Live Fitness. Aaron? Harrow Road, it's the Norwich City Football Ground Stadium. No, I don't know that. I am wearing an England top. With my name written on. So you think I'm a football fan? <laughs> I just work at St George's Park, the home of England. I'm a, home of that I'm a fan of that place. And of course England football team. But the actual game of football... I'm clueless. I'm clueless when it comes to football. I'm not even sure of the road that Pride Park's on. <laughs> Right, Aaron, what is your advice on spray tanning? First of all, holistic advice would say it is chemicals. So you don't want to be adding too much chemicals in your body. However, the mental benefit from having a spray tan can be great. So physically it's not going to help you as in stop you from burning or anything. But emotionally, mentally, it can make you feel great. I used to love being orange. I love doing a David Dickinson. It smells a bit nasty. Natural is, of course, better. Okay, are we getting warm yet? You've got shorts on like me? Make the shorts shorter so your body can naturally cool down. If you're not on Facebook Live, you might want to throw your top off, or your bottoms off, no problem. You can do it barefooted, but I would recommend wearing trainers. And again, don't stamp, don't lock your knees out, keep it nice and light. For those of you who normally run part run, you want to go into a little bit of a run, 
So we want to be in our fat burning zone. We spoke about it yesterday. The easiest way to know if you're in your fat burning zone is if you can speak. Talk to me. I can't hear you, but if you can talk to me, you're in your fat burning zone. Obviously make sure your heart is up. But if you can't speak, if you find it difficult to speak, slow down guys. Stay with the beat, but lift your knees smaller and just have a gentle workout. Just stay in your fat burning zone. For me, I've got to pick my knees up a little bit, add a little bounce to my step. Aaron, it's very cold today. Minus three here in Latin Derbyshire. You can see. Now on purposely from yesterday, I've moved the camera down a little bit lower. So when the sun does come out, you are going to be able to see it. It's important. It's going to keep us motivated. Right, Aaron's also saying, do I love waking up early? It's healthy. I'm up at six every day. This morning I was up at five. The healthier you get, the less sleep you need. Some optimal health gurus only sleep four hours, guys. It's fine. As long as you're getting deep sleep and you wake up feeling refreshed, Four hours is enough for some people. How are you feeling? Let's get back on that water. I want to do my two litres this morning. The best throw about yesterday, once I've done my two litres first thing, you need to think about it again. I wasn't running to the toilet all day because obviously my body has sweated out some, absorbed some, but also my body absorbed it all first thing in the morning. It's a great way to warm up, work out, wake up, etc. Right, Aaron, back to your comments. I hate it when I am on leave. As you know, I work it now. <laughs> yes. Working night shift is not good for your health long term, but financially, it can help. Aaron's also saying, why am I always tired? That could be lack of exercise. I'm sorry to say, Aaron, you will always feel tired when you work nights. Your body was meant to go with the moon and the sun. And if you go to the opposite of that, you will never get true rest. All you can do is on your days off, try and follow the moon and the sun. And hopefully, you'll be able to get back some <laughs> this rest. Oh, we're going very deep today. How's your arms, guys? Yeah, even if you're eight hours, Aaron, if you've got a Fitbit, it'll tell you the level of your sleep. So it'll tell you if you're deep sleep, moderate sleep. If you look on there, that'll have all your answers. But eight hours a day is good. It's quality, not quantity. Hardcore. I know it's not singing, dancing, la la music. But unfortunately, we have to use license free because Facebook doesn't like when we rip off other people's music. Right, we've got another song coming. Shall we check the steps? Let's check our distance. 
So Fitbit is also counting your distance. So we've done 1,800 steps. But more importantly today, we've done 0.86 of a mile. And we need to get to 3.2 miles. sound off on this Facebook Live. Just put your own music on. It's fine. Just keep me on as a timer. I'll tell you when we're done. I'll tell you when you can put your feet up. <laughs> Aaron says I crack him up. It, but I do think this is my purpose. I'm here to entertain the slimmers as well as keep them motivated. But what motivates me is music. <laughs> Look at that beat. Oh yeah. Can you feel it? It is more of a running track. If I wasn't overweight, I'd be doing that right now. But I am overweight. I don't want a knee replacement. I don't want a hip replacement. So I'm working to my body's ability. Right, Aaron? Who is going to care about copyright? It's your own personal video. Unfortunately, this is a public video. So they can. It's happened before many times. I've been live and suddenly... I don't think this music's that bad anyway. Okay, how are I bet? I'm just starting to feel it now. No pain, but just a little reminder that I need to keep my back straight, my shoulders back. Head in line with this side. I'm half a litre done. How's your water going, guys? Aaron, are you on the Pepsi Max again? Just have a bit of water if you can. What are you going to eat when you're on holiday or today? How icy and frosty is it where you are? Aaron's having a burger today. You're in holiday mood, so enjoy, my friend. And chips. And steak. Go oh, have everything. So for those of you watching us on Catch Up, Ivory players, Listen to that beat. Keep focus. 
if you haven't got a Fitbit app or a Fitbit watch, remember you can download the Fitbit app onto your phone, put your phone in your pocket, and it will automatically count your steps. Just don't put it in a bag or something that's not moving, because you need to move your phone for it to count your steps. Aaron? Pepsi Max. And you're here. Coke Zero. Oh yeah, sorry. Your Coke Zero, not Pepsi Max. I prefer Pepsi Max, to be honest. I find it's got more of a sweeter, natural taste. Morning Diamond. You make me smile whenever I see your name, just to see the name Diamond. <laughs> Are you stepping with us this morning, Diamond? Or are you busy exercising outdoors later? As you can see here in Derbyshire, I don't think we can call it snow, can we? Or can we? Actually, when I look further afield, it does look like snow. And yes, Sarah is agreeing. Diamond is a great day. I'm surprised Facebook allow you to have that name, Diamond. When I tried to use Gargar as my name, it wouldn't accept it. Aaron saying sex on the beach. I assume you're talking about a cocktail there. <laughs> oh yeah, you are. The comment above. You're in bed, Diamond. Okay. You've got a Fitbit, Diamond. Just at least give us a wiggle of your Fitbit. Get those steps in there to me. <laughs> Aaron saying he's not talking about cocktails. Okay, the music's got a little bit subdued. But stay with it. There's that beat. Aaron's going for both. Sex on the beach. Cocktail. Let's have some more water. For those of you who don't know what we're doing, we're doing a virtual park run, which means we're doing 5k or walking 5k, also known as 3.2 miles, also known as 8,000 steps. What is my favourite cocktail? To be honest with you, I love a white Russian. It's so tasty. I can see my friend Diane is messaging me while we're live, saying that part run is cancelled. Yes, this is why we're doing the virtual part run. It's too icy out there. Their insurance doesn't cover it. If you go arse over to tit, <laughs> arse over tit, I don't think I've ever used that to say you're going to lie in video. It's their fault. You don't want that. They're not going to risk it. <coughs> Do I drink beer? Sometimes. But digestionally and health wise, beer's not that great, guys. You're much better with a dry wine. Clear spirits. But yeah, sometimes I enjoy it. And I did it from Canaria. I had a few beers. The local Spanish beer. Diamond. I'll tap my toes for you. Yes, please. Tap those little toes. <laughs> Anything to go along with the beat. We'll do some freestyling later, guys. What is a white Russian made of? A white Russian is normally like a cream, vodka I think, sometimes I've had coffee in it, but yeah normally it's like a clear spirit and cream. I missed my Monday morning class, Oh, darling, I'm sorry. I missed my Monday morning class as well. 
never know. I might be back. But for now, we'll enjoy it virtually. I'm live every day at 8. 8 a.m. We're live here with our workouts. Some of them are in a couple of minutes. Today you've got a treat. So we're going for an hour. Right, Aaron, get off and start packing. Finish your packing, get it done. Then you can truly relax. Oh, you all miss me. Thank you, darling. I miss you all too. I miss you all too when I wake up in the morning on a Monday and just lie there and do nothing. <laughs> No, it used to be a great start to the week. There's nothing like a fitness class to get you going to start your week. Now we do it online. Aaron might even have a good Asian. Tonight or on holiday? Oh yeah, while on holiday. You will. There's loads of Asian restaurants in these holiday places now. From Chinese buffets to sushi restaurants. Have a look around. Have a look on TripAdvisor. When I go to different places, I always try and go to the number one place on TripAdvisor. And 99% of the time, it is as good as they say. Obviously look out for reviews where they've got like five reviews, ten reviews. You want something that's got like a thousand reviews or more and is still really high. Popular opinion. It's important. Right, he's going for Chinese curry with fish. I like a good prawn curry. I don't know what it is, but it's only like in the last few years, or well, since I worked in shot on the Royal Albert Cross Moderna, where I'm Aaron from, they had a sushi restaurant. And one of the Filipino chefs, he used to make shrimp tempura. It's cooked fish. Oh, it's like the most amazing sushi in the world. The best sushi in the world. It's not the healthiest, because it's deep fried in batter. But it's great. Right, Aaron's saying. It's an all-inclusive though, so I don't really want to pay. No, you don't want to be paying. Look out for Asian nights. You might have an a la carte restaurant included. That way you'll get your Asian. But most places have a curry night. As you know, it's the number one dish in the UK. And just under, I'm sure, Asian food. For those of you who do want a England football outfit, you can get whatever name on the back, you can get whatever number on the back at the England official merchandise store. It is quite expensive, but it's great quality. By night. I don't normally buy night stuff, so it feels weird, but night. All inclusive meals are normally crap. Right, let me, let, me, let me let you into a little secret, Aaron. The reason that Royal Albert Trust Moderna, my former hotel, is so successful, is because, yes, the quality of food wasn't the highest, but it was fresh. In our hotel we used to have live cooking stations, so fresh fruit cakes, freshly chopped fruit, freshly cooked kebabs, freshly cooked croissants. So that's the secret in All Inclusive. Just get your foods from the live cooking stations, which most hotels have now, and that way it will taste great. And normally be the higher quality ingredients, Oh, I'm giving out top tips left, right, centre right now. 
better to eat out at nice restaurants. No, if you're all inclusive, stay inside, enjoy it. Maybe have one meal out at somewhere really special. Glad you like my cocktail. You may have noticed, I've left some Christmas decorations up here on the window. But today it's very apt because there's snowflakes. And with the ice in the background, it actually looks quite good. And yes, I know from the hotel, Aaron. Let's have an update. How far have we got? How many steps have we done? We have done, ladies and gentlemen, 3,700 steps. Our distance is 1.76, which means we're over halfway. We're over halfway there, guys. And it's 8.30. Bang. We are on target to do our 5K in less than an hour. So as promised, we are doing a personal best. We're going faster than we normally would. However, remember when you're walking inside, you haven't got wind resistance. You haven't got inclines. So it is slightly easier but it's still a personal best in my book. Aaron saying, so everything was fresh every day. Yes, Aaron, that's the secret to a good restaurant. As Harry Bramson says, everything has to be fresh. What was my favorite food in Moderna? By far, the Asian food in the White Elephant, a la carte Asian restaurant. Shrimp tempura is my number one. For breakfast, I used to love, 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 love. Just Friday on Saturday, with real butter. Maybe a little bit of ketchup, too. <laughs> Salt and pepper. Oh, it was a meal of dreams. Not health wise, but taste wise. My other favourite meals in the afternoon, 3 p.m. The hotel eats some <laughs> fresh pancakes and donuts. Oh, no wonder I got back to 25 stone. Me and my Russian guest relation colleague used to have them every day. It's not healthy, guys. Don't do it. Tina, welcome. Good morning. Sorry didn't join you. Waiting for Andy Murray final instead. That's a good excuse, Christina. And you also did it yesterday, so that's fine. Send me a private message, Tina. How are you getting on with your website? I didn't have a message yesterday. I'm slightly worried. <laughs> Remember, we're meeting up for your birthday tomorrow. So if you need me, not only just to celebrate your birthday, but professionally, I'm here to help. Let's have some more water, guys. I think we should just down this. Because we're halfway, we need to be one metre down. So let's do this. I just have a little break to tell Tina. Tina, we've got faster music today. So we're doing our steps much faster. Our goal is to get 10,000 steps done in an hour, but not look like this. <laughs> At a brisk pace, but not too brisk. Uh, Aaron, it is true, I did used to eat in the White Elephant restaurant for free most days. I literally lived in Asia. My body must have been sick of soy sauce. Christina's saying all good. Aaron's saying, what's my views on designer brand clothes paying 100 quid for a Rolf Roland polo top? I wouldn't do it personally, but purely because my size changes quite a lot. Therefore, I don't feel like I can 
invest in clothes that will last me a long time. They won't necessarily be that size for a long time. But when you're at your correct size and you've got money, you see something you really love, then yes, spend money on something really good quality. As I said, this this set is good quality. I know it's big, but I'm going to get wear out of it. I wear it most days. Aaron saying, Christina Murphy. I'm glad you guys know each other now. You're giving each other a shout out. Christina learned yesterday that Aaron lies in bed drinking Coke Zero. <laughs> Aaron also destroyed the sound on my live video yesterday. It wasn't me directly, it was Facebook, Aaron. After we went, after we joined in, Aaron, the sound played up for the rest of the video. Which means from now on, we won't be adding anyone in, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. I know you want to show me your steps. But sound quality is important more than video quality. If you can't hear me, if you can't hear the beat, how are you meant to work out? As you can hear, Tina, I'm going slightly too happy right now. <laughs> the endorphins from exercise are kicking in. Aaron saying, is it any better in quality or the same as like 25 quid one from Primark? Of course not. Yeah, you wear a Primark t-shirt a couple of times and the shape's all gone, the colour's gone. Cheap clothes are bad guys, not only for the environment, but you just don't feel amazing in them, to be honest. And don't worry Aaron, it wasn't your fault. Christina's saying, Aaron, I was laughing at Jodie, not you. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Aaron, Tina's a lovely person. She'd never laugh at someone, apart from me, <laughs> which I don't mind and quite enjoy. <laughs> I'm just happy that Tina didn't delete me from Facebook yesterday after making her walk for an hour and a half. How are you feeling today, Tina, about that? Is your body okay? Aaron is saying, I just realised, Tina, you've changed your name. She hasn't. She's always been Christina Murphy. I just call her Tina. How do you say your second name, Aaron? Is it Lee Better? I know many people called Led Better, that's why I called you Led Better yesterday, so I apologise. Outside. See, it's really brightening up. It was dark. It was black when we first started. I'm just waiting for that sun to pop through, but I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, Tina said, I nearly did. Body is fine. It was good. That's good to hear. Aaron, was she the one I kept phoning? It's Sean. No. No, no, no. Tina is one of my slim brother babes. Aaron, you know the guests from Royal Albert Trust Moderna, which is Helen, Andrea, and Nikita. These are my trio from Sean. Oh, I'm Claire. I didn't meet her at the hotel. I met her many years before. I think those are the only four people you know physically. Christina, got to go and check out the final. When's the next 5, 10k? I'm going to be doing it every Tuesday and Friday, Tina. Tuesday and Friday. And Saturday is whatever portroom is cancelled. Put it in your diary. 8am. So 8am, Tuesday and Friday. We're going to do about 10,000 steps. Right, the music slowed down. I think it's gone on to cool down. So we all know what that means. We need to start the, no, let's not start the music again. Oh yeah, we will. Right, it's gonna start off slow. So have this as a slight little break, guys. 
The music's coming down. Have a drink. If you bust in for the loo, get to the toilet now, guys, while we have a little break. We're not going to break as in stop. We're just going to cool down a little bit. We're ready to go on the next stage of the workout and finish that crossing line. Uh, Aaron's saying, Andrea Jennings, where is she now? She's still in Swindon. I saw her just a few weeks ago. If you check out my Instagram stories, you'll see the lovely Andrea. Bye, Christina. See you on Tuesday for your 10 steps, 10 K steps. Might see you tomorrow as well, in person. <laughs> Aaron's saying, Murphy, how are you, mate? Aaron, we're not in the army. You don't need to use second name. <laughs> you can call the theater in, but okay. <laughs> okay. Right. We're going to be picking up the pace in a minute as we finish this water. Somebody's asked to be live with me. Sorry guys, I'm not doing any lives today. It interrupted the sound quality yesterday. I need to keep the sound quality. Join in one of my other videos later. Right, one litre done. One litre left to go. I'll remind you of my top tips for water. Sip it. Make sure it's room temperature. It in the morning. You can have it in the morning whilst you're exercising. Even better. Okay, so let's listen to that beat. Down, 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 down. Make sure your arms are working. Right, Tina will be there. Face, hand, 
palm face. Right, you all still in this beat? I know there's not many of us watching, but a lot of my slimmers will be doing this on replay. You are doing it on replay. Leave a comment. How did you get on? How are you feeling right now? My other slimmers will show you some love. And I will too. What am I having for tea? After we finish this workout, I'm having a shower and I'm driving down to Southampton to see my daughter. While we're going out for dinner, afternoon time. Might be Asian, might be a steak. And then after that, I'm going to see Natasha, who I just sent a message to. My former fat factor friend, which is from the MC in Essex. I work with her in Kent. And now she lives in Paul with the love of her life. Which is where my daughter lives in Paul. The Hilton in Paul was not available, so that's why I'm staying in Southampton Hilton. Literally just telling my life story right now. <laughs> no problem. Anything to keep the steps going. On the aeroplane when I was flying back from Egypt, I wrote a great piece about love. It will be live online tomorrow morning from 7am. Last week we spoke about money. This week we spoke about love. Next week, I'll try not to talk about politics. Right, Aaron. Get some videos of the restaurant, yes. Aaron, do you follow me on Instagram? I put all my day-to-day -day life on Instagram stories, which also appears on Facebook stories. But it's not as prominent. Follow me on Instagram. One word, Jodie Bunting. Also the Slim Brother. Instagram, which is Slim Brother UK. Long drive for you, though, yeah. So, uh, well, only three hours. Thankfully, it's like motorway and your carriageway is all the way, so it's not too bad. And with this eye, hopefully, lots of people will be staying at home, so the roads will be quiet. I won't read out the F word, Aaron. <laughs> yes, you're talking about Mohammed, Aaron. I will be mentioning Mohammed, but more about the positive sides of love, not the bad. I do, I do drive and travel a lot, however, when I was in Gran Canaria for a month, I stayed in one place, I didn't use a car, I didn't use a taxi, I walked everywhere. So I live in balance. Stay on that beat. Shall we have a check up? Maybe we've done over uh, three miles. Right, we've done 5,900 steps. We've done 2.8 one miles. We're nearly finished, uh, guys. Let me just check again. Yeah, 2.82. So we literally have 400 meters left to go. Yay! Give me a high five. That's it, guys. Do you ever get pissed? <laughs> or every night? You know what? A lot of people accuse me of being drunk 
or on drugs. Exercise, guys, makes me like this. I used to, when I was younger, get drunk, but uh, no, not anymore, Aaron. I had a few cocktails in Grand Canary, I had a few beers, I had a few gin and cocktails, but not out of my face. It doesn't float my boat anymore. Right guys, we're going to follow the beat, which is cooling down, so bring your pace down now. So stay with the beat, but make it smaller. And then we're going to have a countdown. Right. Stay with that beat. Keep it small. Right. You've got to go. See you, Aaron. Have a great holiday. Go and have your burger drink too. Meanwhile, towards the end of our workout, we've been doing it for 50 minutes. We're on 6,100 steps. We've done 2.93 miles. We're only going to 3.2. Other information on our Fitbit. We've done 49 minutes in our target zone, our hot, our fat burning zone. We've burnt 1,500 calories, or I have. Because when Fitbit knows your weight, it's your height, Knows how many calories you burn, that's really important guys. So you may have done the same workout as me, but you may have worked harder or easier depending on your weight, your body. How's my heart rate? I'm currently on 170. I'm in my fat burning zone. This is the advantage of having a Bit, bit. It will tell you your heart rate, it will tell you your sleep, as well as your exercise information. We're now on 2.98. So I cut it out, guys. We're going to finish this video by 9 o'clock. Yes, mate. As promised. We're reaching our goals this morning. Thank you for joining me today, guys. If you didn't find this too difficult, I would suggest doing this video every day. You might get bored of me and Aaron chatting on. But trying to march on the spot to an hour with your favourite music is a great idea. I think that was Fiona. Thank you, Fiona. Pressing the like button. So we last... 200 meters now, guys. The last 200 meters. Stay with me. When we're on to the last 100 music meters, we're really going to slow down, okay? So it's not like a real race where I want you to sprint over the finish line. I want to do it with your help. We're going to casually walk over the finish line today. Up, but the sun's not come out. I'm sorry. You're trying to call me, Aaron. Don't call me. I'm live. You'll interrupt the video. Luckily, I have on Do Not Disturb. So you can't get through anyway. But it still might disrupt the video. Don't do it. Don't call me anyone. Because one phone is doing a Facebook video, the other phone is running the music. So you can't call me on any of them, sorry. Okay, let's have an update from Fitbit. We're on 0.3.09 miles. So let's start to cool down, guys. So I'm going to turn the music down. I want you to walk slower than the music. So this is our last little bit. We've got a really hardcore song on, so I'm just going to change the music, put on something a little bit more gentle, 
and we're all gonna cool down to that now. Might even have relaxation music, guys. So let's have a little bit of relaxation music as we cross the finish line on our virtual park run today. For those of you who joined me walking for the last 54 minutes, well done, amazing. We haven't even left our house. There's lots of benefits to exercising outside, but there's more ex benefits to getting your exercise done. So if you have to do it inside, no problem. Goodbye, Aaron. Thank you for joining us. Have a great holiday. Right, we're on 3.15 miles. And yes, Aaron, do some lives, especially when you're on holiday. I'd love to see that. Kate Verdi. Tell Kate Verdi, I'll see you soon. <laughs> okay, 1.3.17. Get ready to cross the finishing line. We haven't done our 10,000 steps, but that's not what today's all about. Today was all about walking 3.2 miles, also known as 5K. Normally I get in 8,000 steps, but I'm gonna get in about just under 7,000 steps, which is fine. We'll be doing a little bit more walking, just a little through today, so I'm not too worried about that. But it's good that we've had an hour's workout. So it's 3.19. Get ready for it to clock over. There we go, guys. It's official, 3.2. You can stop marching. We have now officially done our 5K. Uh, as with yesterday, we're gonna use these last couple of minutes to stretch. So one leg forward, one leg back. Bend your front knee, straighten the back leg, and just push all your body weight on your back heel. Feel the stretch through your calf muscle. Changing sides. For those of you just joining us, we've just walked our 5K. In a few moments, this video will be published and you can do it again. Oh, look at the little birds in the garden. Are they loving the ice? Right, let's stretch through our hamstring. So straighten the front leg, bend the back leg, and just reach down towards the toes. You should feel a stretch through the back of your leg. Don't arch the back too much, keep it nice and strong, abdominals pulled in. Changing legs, other side, again straighten that leg, reach down, feel that lovely stretch on the back of your thigh. And then our final one, quads, heel to the bottom. If you've got a bit on your shoe, hold it, knees together, push your hips forwards, feel that lovely stretch on the front of your thigh. Changing legs. How are you feeling guys? As I said, please leave a comment, leave us your feedback. We're gonna be live every Tuesday and Friday doing 10,000 steps. And on a Saturday, if part run is ever canceled, join me live at eight o'clock to do your 5k virtually. That's it, my name is Jodie Bunting, thank you for joining me today and I'll see you again next time. Lots of love.